Debugging CMS Module 9. Alright, uh, so in this tutorial, uh, I am going to show you how I debug the, uh, the code, the application. Alright, Malon sent me this uh, database to help him with the code. And uh, before we get there, I just want to uh, briefly mention how one can, can, uh, can find the mistakes. It is a common mistake that we tend to uh, overlook a very simple issue, all right? And myself included, I'm not, you know, I'm not excluded from all these. I make mistakes. Uh, you know, sometimes in the video, I do make mistakes, all right? Other times, I intentionally make mistakes, all right? And try to go back and forth, go back and forth to make sure that you know that I'm looking at this and that. Okay, but I do make mistakes, all right, and um, and but to to solve the mistakes is um, you got to you got to look at your logic line by line. Does that logic that line that you write if then else for example or if this happens that must have happened or at this line I should expect to see A B C. These are the things that <clears throat> you need to uh, that you need to uh, to follow. All right. So anytime you have issues with ap your application, more than not, just follow line by line, and you will see your logic. All right. And and you know you gotta you gotta see what you're doing. Your logic. It has to make sense to you. All right. So and here is a database. I'm gonna show you how I go about debugging the database. All right, well, let's get to it. Uh, it's 6.30 p.m. I think this, uh, this afternoon, about 11, right here, about 11.15 a.m., Mulan uh, sent me a file here. He has issues with, looks like two issues. One, uh, he cannot uh, add more than one record on the order on the order product add product to the order He can only add one but not two or more than that the second issue is that the image don't change and doesn't disappear so all right let's take a look at this one let's copy this guy save I want to save into my yeah there you go into my sample here save all right let's close that down let's see what's going on here mister all right let's go to that folder uh it's in the uh access sample all right let's open it up right here this guy all right okay well let's take a look uh what you have here move on Hope you're watching this guy. All right, so that is uh, okay. All right, so let's tackle this guy. Let's see this one. Uh, all right, that's no okay. This one is incomplete, so we can add product or, or empty product here. Yeah. Let's try to edit. Go to product. Let's add one. Okay. How about delete? Yep. Good. That's good. So far, so good. Let's try it again. Let's add this guy. Good. Let's add this guy. Hmm. Wow. That looks like, uh, well, I don't know what's going on there. What is that? All right, let's, uh, let's go into code. Yeah, so here's how I'm gonna get into the code. See if, see how fast we can get this guy going. Uh, that's the class object. Let's go to order right here, order DB access. Let's open that guy up. It looks like, uh, is it in here? Let me see, is it in here? Product already exists. Remove add all oh, right here. 
right here. Not sure what that is. Does it? Well, it should have come over here. Otherwise, it would not have added the first product. All right. So let's try that one. Let's add. So it does come over here. Continue. All right. Let's take a look at the uh, temp file here. No. We only see one product. Well, you know what? Let's do this. Not sure what that is. Let's took. Let's take a look at the uh, SQL statement here. All right. So the easiest way to for me to look at the SQL statement is looking like this. All right. So let's do that. Let's try again. Add. Okay. Let's take a look at this one. Insert into temp. Uh, order detail temp. Order detail temp. Yep, that file. That's good. Order detail ID. Order ID. Order line. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Obviously, this should be right. Otherwise, it would, it would, yeah, it would. Uh, well, actually, you know what? One, two. That's a line number, number three, which is two. That's good. Product order, product number, 657, 657. That's good. That's that product. Uh, product name, which is this guy. Yep, that's good. And uh, $4 or four, a value of four. And then quantity as one. That should be right. That should be right. Don't know why that is. Huh. Well, you know what? I think that guy is right. I'm going to do that. You know what I'm going to do here? I want to see what's going on here. So I'm going to do this error handling. Copy. Paste. And then I'm going to grab this guy right here. Copy and uh, scroll up a little bit and paste, and that should be in sub uh, because it's a sub right here. Okay, control S, and I'm gonna copy this add product to right here. See if it, yeah. So if it, we need to know what's going on here. So this is how you want to find out what's going on. If it barks, then it's going to show us something here. All right. So let's take a look. I think, well, we'll yeah. Fingers crossed. Let's try again. Bam. Oh, it doesn't do it. Darn. Huh. Hmm, hmm, hmm. It looks like it, because it doesn't insert, it looks like it's, uh, it looks like it's, uh, something's prevented from inserting. And it does not even tell us the error. That's problem. That's, that's, yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm going to try this. Let's try this. Let's try as record set. See what's going on here. And then, you know what? I'm going to comment out this guy. Comment that out. I want to see something here. And here, I want to say set OS equals current DB. Uh, open record set and here I'm going to grab this guy copy and then I want to add add new this will this, this will definitely give us something 
and uh, if it's if it's going to error out, it's going to give us something here. All right. Uh, yeah. How about um, update? Yep. And then we can say we can say we can say this. Yeah, we can say this. I'm going to show you how to do this. All right. This will definitely give us something. It's going to give us what's going on. Equals. This would be. This would be ID. So identification. Get good. Oh. How come? Oh. Missing an I there. Try again. There you go. And then next one. And this would be equals to. This would be uh, S order ID, order ID, or oh, S order ID right there. And then this one would be line number. So we're going to say equals get new line number. All right. And then do this. Are you following me there? I'm trying to debug this, all right, by the way. So now we can say old products. See this guy right here? I'm just going yeah, I get it. I get it. I'm just going to come over here and copy that guy or copy this guy. It doesn't matter because we, we are interested in the order number or product number. Product number there. OS. OS. Now product name. I'm going to come over here. Equals. Paste product name right there and then paste unit price this is uh what is this unit cost okay equals uh paste unit cost see what see what i'm doing now so this is essentially it's the same thing as insert all right now uh we're going to make it one there all right there so the whole thing here from here to here is essentially the same as this guy all right uh mulan essentially the same thing okay so let's take a look what's going on here now if it's if it errors out it's going to bark at us because we are now loop uh working with the record set okay so let's take a look click bam Ah, that's what I was thinking. See there? Uh, the changes you requested in the table were not successful because they would create duplicate value. What duplicate value? Well, is it duplicate value? That didn't look like a duplicate value. You know what? I'm going to... Uh, uh, I'm going to save this guy and then uh, I want to be able to maneuver this guy. I'm going to make this form a model, a pop-up. See, I'm making a pop-up. That way I can resize and all that. All right. So let's go back in there. Let's try it again. Uh, collapse that, collapse that. Let's try it again. So I want to make that small order. We got order. Which one was incomplete that we did? This guy. All right. And then we're going to edit this booger. Edit. And then we're going to go to uh, this guy. All right. Now, we got this guy in there. Let's take a look at this table. This is really... So the reason why I want I want to be able to move it in and out, okay. So it's it's saying that we've got this thing. It's saying that we got this guy repeated, or it would create duplicate. I don't understand that. Now this guy is this one, all right. So let's if we do this, what would happen? This product already exists. Okay, that's good. Uh. Well, how about this guy? Huh. 
Hmm. Uh, it says this guy is duplicate. So we are interested in when we click on this, does it produce this same one? Does it produce this same one? I don't know. So, I am going to stop right there. I'm going to flip back and forth and looking at this guy, all right? Something's not weird. By the way, this guy will always get new one, all right? This guy right here will always get new one, get quit. And it should be duplicate, but it's saying it's duplicate. So something's not right. So let's click it again. So right now we're looking at ETWF. G E uh, G J E E T W F E G A E. So that's good. E T W. I don't see E T W here. That's not duplicate. What's wrong? What's going on? What's going on? All right, let's stop that. What's going on? Let's close that out. Nope. Let's uh let's save that. Uh, I want to see the uh, definition. You know what? I'll, I'll go ahead and close this guy out. I want to see the definition on this guy and this guy. That should be the same. So this guy, all the detail. That's a primary. Yes, 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 no duplicates, yes. That's a primary, yes, 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 no duplicate. That looks the same right there. What's going on? What is going on? Beats me, I don't stand there. You know what, I'm going to close this out. Let's do this, because I don't stand why that doesn't work. I'm going to delete this right here, move on. All right, I'm going to delete that. Uh, it's all the detail temp. Okay, I'm going to delete that. Yes. I'm going to make a copy of this guy. Control C, Control V. Structure only. Remember, this thing is the same as the other one. All right. Except this one is a temp. Like so. It's exactly the same thing there. All right so now we have to we have the same signature okay let's try it again let's go to order let's go to this guy all right let's edit uh this one is this guy we're gonna pick out this guy hey that worked you see that you see what i did there Let's add this one five. Huh. Now that is, I don't know. Let's try add this one. Yeah. I'm gonna save this one. All right. Oh, this is good. Three, three props in cart. That's good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back over here. So this, is the same as this one, all right? I'm going to comment out this guy, and I'm going to uncomment out this guy, all right? So now we're going back to your code. This should work the same way. I th I think that was it. Somehow that table is not recognizable, all right? So I'm going to edit this same one. Remove. Yes. Remove, yes, add, that, that could still work, that's already exist, uh, that's it, that's all I did, you see that, I didn't do anything, you see that, I can even remove this guy, alright, control S, 
and save. That's it, mister. That's it, mister. Let's try this one. Yeah, let's try this one. Let's edit. Go to the product. Let's add. There. It adds it. Save. Good. Uh, let's go back. Let's go back to this one. This is this one is 38. That should be this guy. Just remember that one. So let's go to here. Let's go back to 38. Still good. Still safe in there. So there you go. That's it. So all I did was just uh, make a copy of this guy and name it all the detail temp. This two should have the same signature. All right, same definition. Now I don't know why, cause what I looked at it when I looked at it, they both looked the same to me. And so all I did was just hey, let's try delete this one and make a copy of this one, and that worked. All right. So one down. The second one, something with the product. Let's go take a look. Oh, the product images. All right, the product images. Let's go to there. Okay. Ooh, oh. Oh. See, I don't have E drive. And the message, uh, the, uh, I don't have the picture. All right. So, uh, we're going to debug that. Let's see what's going on. That has to, that is in the product. All right, that's in the product right here. I'm going to go in here. We click on the display product. Display product. Come on, display product. Right here, right here. Add category to product. Okay, that's fine. Display product. Uh, first off, I want to stop right here. Does it even come to here? All right, so I want to find out what's going on here because it looks like it's trying to dis it's trying to display the image. Okay, it's trying to display an image, and it cannot find an image on the E drive because I don't have an E drive. All right, let's try that again. Let's uh oh hold on, it's already in here. Let's continue. Oh, it does come over here. Okay, all right, so that's good. So far, so good. Let's follow through. All right, it's right here. All right, I'm going to jump right there. So obviously, it cannot, it, yeah, obviously. Um, let's take a look at something here. I'm going to uh, comment out this guy. Just to, uh, just to narrow down what's going on here. All right. So, oh, hold on, continue, continue, in, okay, all right, so I think I comment out something, that's, I shouldn't, huh, why is that, oh, I got you, I comment out the, the next here, all right, so I need to comment out this guy as well, there you go. Let's try again. Okay, no bark. That's good. No bark. That's good because I don't want it to display for now. First off, I want to see. Uh, I want to see how many. Uh, yeah, I want to see how many images does this guy have. All right. So. So before I get there. Actually, I want to come down here. Let's uh, let's click this guy. Okay, it jumps in there. That's good. So far, so good. All right. And uh, let's see the U bound. Uh, let's see the U bound. Uh, let's go to F8. 
Okay. All right. So it's not four. Next. Enable. Enable. Something I uh, don't understand here though. Why would you in? Why would you enable this guy? Remove image, right? Uh, let me see. Why would you? In oh, because there's something in there. Got you. Okay, you're right. That's good. There, you're right. You're right. So you would enable. Yeah, yeah. That's good. That's that's good. Let's see. Uh, I want to see something. I want to see you bound. Uh, or image. Actually, I'm going to undo that. Uh, the reason being, I want to see how many images are in here. Okay, there are two images there. How about this one? There are three. Huh. Now, why are there always three? There are three. Are you sure? There are always three. Are you sure? Huh. Let's see. Let's come to uh, product images right here. Well, it can be. It says there are always three. If we click on this guy, all right, let's see product, this guy. Um, Five, six, seven. Let's go to product table. Five, six, seven. This guy right here. This guy's ID is two N A Q. All right, see that? Two N A Q. Let's take a look. Product ID. We don't have two N A Q. Two N A Q. Product ID. We don't have two N A Q here. You see? So it's impossible for it to uh, to list all three. So that means that something's not right when you retrieve this uh, I retrieve these images. So that's not right. All right. So this product does not have images. But then you say there are three of them here. Yeah. When I saw that, I just said, Hey, that's not right. See, it's always said three. All right. Three. This guy does not have any images, but it says three. So, so there's something's not right there. Uh, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go in here, get product images, and see why, see why it's not returning correct one. All right, Control F. Let's go to product image DB access, right here. And then click find. Oh, there he is. There he is at the top. Let's see this guy. So this is good. This leg is good. Oh, whoa, whoa. I see something here. What is this? That's the reason why it always returns three. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not right right there. That's wrong. You see that, Mulan? That's wrong right there. Mulan? Let's take that out. That's not right. Yeah, I, yeah. That should be right now. Okay. That should be right now. Control S. I bet you, if we click on this guy, see there two images. That's good. It's not three now. That's one image. That's good. Perfect. No image there. That's what I thought. See, this guy didn't have any image. Remember? So that's good. Now we're getting somewhere. All right. Good, good, good. You see what I did there? You had this uh, product image in there. Okay. So make that correction. Okay. So that's one. Th one. 
Now, I'm going to take this out. All right, so we we solve one. All right, this is good. Now, um, here's the issues. All right, here's the issues. Check this out. Watch. This error. I cannot find this image. Help me, he says. Help me. I cannot find this image. Of course, you cannot find that image because I don't have E drive and I don't have that image. All right. So this is what I'm going to do. All right. I'm going to close that out. Now, when it points in here, it doesn't mean that it's here. It's in this. Uh, it's in this form. It's in the product form. So here's what I'm going to do. There. Um, I am going to make it look. I am going to make it look at the file. So this is what I'm going to do. If directory O I M A G one um, because we're going to display this guy, so I want to do I want to do this. Um, thumbnail, yeah, there you go. It's not empty. Then come in here. Then I invited to come in here. Okay, I forgot the, I forgot, I forgot this. My bad. There. And if, all right. Let's see. And now I'm gonna push this guy in. All right, so all I'm saying is that, hey, if you can't find anything in this drive, all right, in that drive, which is nothing there, uh, come in here. Uh, uh, yeah, if, if, if there's something in there, come in here. Otherwise, don't go in there, okay? So that's what I'm saying, all right? So let's control S. Let's see if that works as I want it to do. Oh, yeah, yeah, my bad. Control, control, continue, F5, continue. There you go, it doesn't bark now. So if I click this guy, see, it doesn't bark now. Good, that's good, <laughs> so far so good. You're looking good, all right? Uh, now let's add a new product. I'm gonna call this guy product ID, how about uh, product ID, Jack Flute, Jack Flute. Product name, Jack. Uh, Oh, if I know how to spell right, fruit. This, this is a jackfruit. This is a jackfruit. All right. So how about the cost? So I bought this guy for ten bucks. I'm gonna sell it for fifteen bucks. And in store we have hundred. And order point, how about seventy five? All right. Now let's save. Oh. Wait a minute, how come it didn't default to, uh, how, how come it didn't uh, uh, lock? Once you save, see, it's safe here, this is good. But you gotta lock this. Alright, you gotta lock this. Move on. Otherwise, we can still making correction here. Okay, so, um, let's go to code. Let's go look for the safe. Safe, safe, safe. Safe right here, oh, right here, I see it, right here. See there? Unlock. You gotta lock this, okay? Once you save, you gotta lock it. There. You see that? Control S. Let's try again, save. Oh yeah, see there? Yeah, see there? I mean, yeah. So let's edit, let's save. That's better. So now we lock, okay? Now you cannot edit. See, see? you cannot edit, all right? So that's good. Uh, what about if we add an image? Obviously, this is not right either because this is a brand new, brand new uh, product. How are you going to, why do, why do you want, yeah, remove? All right, so there shouldn't be anything, you should not have a remove button here unless, unless a product is selected. I mean, a, an image is selected. You see it right here? There's a problem here, unless an image is selected. 
all right so I'm just gonna go in here and take a look at school what's going on here so after we uh, save yeah this is this should be locked not un unlocked um, uh, hmm yeah let's take a look at the save button uh, save function Save, where are you safe? Control, display, display, clear, yeah. Save, refresh, okay. Okay. All right, uh, so what would you want to do here when you save in this function right here? Not only that you lock the thing, not only that you lock the text boxes, um well let me see uh, let me see the unlock yeah let me see the unlock or not the unlock but the uh the add and edit yeah let's go to unlock boxes okay unlock i think what we need to do here uh because you don't want that text boxes to be shown all right well, yeah, this is normal. I'm going to keep going back here and, and uh, it, it just doesn't make sense to uh, unlock. I might have done that. And, um, uh, okay, there's something here. There's something there. You can do this. Yeah. yeah. I think this is what you need to do. I'm gonna un undo that, all right? And, and, this is good. I'm gonna undo that, this guy, because uh, yeah, this is where you lock and unlock this guy. And then when you save, now, you, now, now that I see it, this is the uh, display, display product. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the save, save. Uh, where's my save? Oh here. So once you unlock uh, Save you want to say uh, Not only that you refresh this form you also say call display product Oops Oop. If I know how to spell there All right, and that will And that will make sure that that uh, that remove button is not it's not showing unless unless there is a product selected all right so now I'm gonna go see I am going to go see the display products right here all right see there now if if there is the default one that's selected right here when I display when I display, I also want to uh, me command remove uh, enable true. All right, so that's what I want to do. Because if you take a look at this save right here, that's the lee up there. See there. Once you save right here. And that save is right here. We're gonna follow through this thing so that you understand. I'm going up and down here, so you might get a little dizzy right here. See, in this save right here, when the product save, you refresh, you display. You see right there. All right, and that display says, okay, I am. Where is it? Up here. Uh, yeah, right here. So uh, once you save a uh, display right here, see it makes remove image. And if there is something in there uh, in display images right here, just follow follow along with me here. Yeah. If you know what I'm saying, right here it comes in here. See this is when it it uh, it enables. Alright? It enables. That's how uh, yeah, that's how it should work. Yeah, let's control S and see what yeah, I'm gonna try to do edit and save right here edit save see there that's how that works
that's how that works. That's all there is to it. Because obviously you don't want to say remove. Remove what? Nothing selected. You know what I'm saying? Do you, you know what I'm saying? Let's try to add image. I got a couple of them in here. Good. Let's go to uh, this uh, access project. I've got this right here. All right. Uh, let's do the bike. Let's pick up this guy. Nice. See that? And that remove button shows up. That remove button shows up. Let's add another one. Let's add the. Uh, let's add this guy. Let's add this guy. Well, uh, let me see. What's a cool one? What's a cool one? Right, this guy's a cool one. See there? Now, if what happened if I select this guy? Perfect. Now that, you did good. Look at that. Look at that. Let's add another one. Let's add another one. Let's add another cool one. Uh, we got that guy. Well. Huh. Well, that one, that one's not cool. Look at that. What happened? Nice. Nice. There you go. There you go. That's how you do it. See, that one's, that's good. See how that display and it moves up? Alright. Well, none of these have images in my drive. And I already, uh, and I already, uh, do that. See there? I say, hey, if you see the image, show, show it. Alright. Obviously, I don't have images in the E drive, but but you will see the image that that I just saved. All right. Now, what happens if I add more and when it gets to four? So when you get to four, look at this. This one disable. All right. This one disable. Okay. So let's take a look. We should. Let's go back to uh, Jack's foot. Okay. Let's add another one. Uh, obviously, I'm running out of the, uh, well, let's, let's add this guy. There, nice. Nice. And that's, there is to it. Alright. It's not big a deal. But do you see how I did that? You are able to do that. Alright, okay, here. Now, the issues that I saw here, right, the issue that I saw here, uh, if you don't, quite understand just go back to the video you can just go back and forth with the video all right and select one ah uh, hold on before I yeah before I did the re reward what happened if I remove this guy will it remove and and what happened to the default right and what happened to the default I want to see remove nice Nice. Good. That's good. That's awesome. Um, that is good. That is so good. Okay. Uh, so what I, what I see in the, uh, issue that you had, all right? You, the, uh, product images right here. Um, you didn't, uh, yeah, get product images here. Look at your code. This one should be SQL, not product image. All right. Uh, I think that's the only thing that I did there. The rest is good. The rest is just good. All right. Uh, I also um, did some, um, you know, uh, fix the code to show to a uh, display or not display. Oh man, uh, fix the code to enable, not enable when it's appropriate. Okay. For example, when you add new when you add new uh, new uh, product here, that remove shouldn't be there unless unless there is a product image ID, all right, or unless there's a there's a the image selected, all right. So that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. And here's the same way. I didn't do anything other than just delete the um, let's see. Yeah, this uh, order. I didn't do anything other than delete this old one and just make a copy of that gun. 
uh, that guy. All right. Delete that guy. And I made a copy of that guy with this name. And that's all I did. The rest is good. So you did good, Milano. You are, yeah, that's, that, that's it. That's all she wrote. Happy programming to all. And also, thank you for your, your, uh, all of your donation. Truly appreciate it. Thank you. Happy programming. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, like, share, and hit that bell. And also, comment below, and if you need help, inbox me. Thanks again.